I see this question asked on Facebook all the time. Will the price drop some more? Do you know if the price will go up or down in the near future? People asking a lot of questions if it's the right time to invest into cryptocurrencies. And the short answer is yes. But before we go into that, I want to tell you something very important about Bitcoin. We already know what supply of Bitcoin we have. We have around 80 million Bitcoin right now and we know the maximum amount of 20 million that will ever be in circulation. Why is that important? Because the other types of money that we have in circulation right now, um, the, what is called fiat money, the dollars, the euros, this money we don't know what the total supply is and with the recent events we saw that the banks are printing non-stop. And what that means, it means the value of money is decreasing. The price of anything is based on supply and demand. When there is high demand, but a very low supply, then the price will go up. That's why people are willing to pay $900,000 for a mask. Because what is scarce, what is in low quantity, and people want it, that makes the price go up. Opposite uh, of that, if there is a very high supply and uh, low demand, not necessarily low, but lower in comparison with um, the supply, then the price will go down. That's why one kilogram of bananas in New York, it's around two, three dollars. But in India, where they have uh, a lot of bananas is under a dollar. The more we have and less demand, the price will go down. The less we have with a higher demand, that means the price will go up. Scarcity makes the price go up. There's supply and demand for Bitcoin as well. Uh, we already know the supply. So it will be 20 million in total, like I said before, and we have 18 million right now in circulation. And new Bitcoin are generated every 10 minutes. And one interesting fact about Bitcoin is that every four years, the newly generated Bitcoin is cut in half. So opposite to what is happening with the money printed by the banks, Bitcoin does the opposite and it cuts the generation of new Bitcoin every four years. This event that happens every four years is called the halving, the Bitcoin halving. And we actually had an event like that just uh, last week. And uh, before that, there was 12.5 Bitcoin generated every around 10 minutes. And now after the halving, there are 6.25 Bitcoin generated every around uh, 10 minutes. And because the supply of Bitcoin is halved every year, that makes the total supply of 20 million Bitcoin to be reached in around 120 years. This is why people are so hyped about Bitcoin because more people will see its benefits and they want to get involved, but there is a limited supply. So more people will have to fight for the same supply of Bitcoin, which will make the price go up. But I should warn you again and again that this is a risky investment. This is a risky asset. Of course, the price can uh, grow very, uh, very high but it also can go to zero because it's a scarce asset. We can look at this chart, which is the stock to flow model. What this model does, it compares the total stock of Bitcoin against the flow of newly generated Bitcoin. Let's take a quick look at it. If I hide the Bitcoin price, we can look at the chart and you can see that based on it, the price of Bitcoin shoots up every four years. And that's correlated with the Bitcoin halving when the flow of Bitcoin is cut in half. So the less Bitcoin flows in circulation, the price is likely to go up. And if I enable the Bitcoin price, you can see how closely the Bitcoin price follows this, this uh, stock to flow model. And that's why this stock to flow model is very popular in the cryptocurrency com community. It's not perfectly aligned with the flow, with the stock to flow ratio, but it follows the same trend line. It goes up in the same direction. And you can see that after the Bitcoin halving, it takes one year or two, but the price will go up and then it comes a bit down. And after the Bitcoin halving, it happens again, it goes up. And this is what we expect to happen for the next halvings as well. So what that means is uh, this is uh, where we are today, somewhere around here. Let me see if I can zoom in. So we are here, okay? So we are following this pattern very closely. 
um, and we expect that uh, at around one year, one year and a half, to price not only reach this this level, but if you can look beha uh, behind in time, it went above it. So we can expect to go even higher than this. And then after four years, it can go up really, really high. So again, this is um, a very popular model in the cryptocurrency space, in the cryptocurrency community. Um, and it works until it won't anymore. But uh, you can see that uh, it's a very optimistic one. If the price will go up to uh, 100,000 or 1 million dollars in the next uh, six years. It doesn't really matter at what price you buy today. If it's 6,000, 10,000, it will matter a bit, but not that much. For the long-term investment, you shouldn't stress so much at what price you invest, at least not right now. So this is one of the charts I wanted to show you. Let me show you another one. And it's called the Bitcoin rainbow chart. And it follows the trending price of Bitcoin in the past years. Here is 2012 until now. You can see the Bitcoin having events every four years and how the price went up after these events right and we expect the same thing to happen here so it can go easily to let me switch to usd it can easily go to over one hundred thousand dollars in the next um, one year one year and a half but you can see after the halving the price stays in this um, low range and then it goes up, then it comes back down. Again, the half thing happens, the price skyrockets, and this is the 2017 price at around $20,000. And uh, the price went down again, and now the halving happens, and the price can go down, of course, but if it follows this pattern, we expect it to go way up. Well, the price is here in this blue green area, it's a really good price to get in at. So right now, if you expect to go to 5,000, if you expect the price to go to 5,000 again, you can wait to do that. But if it follows this pattern, it's not very likely that uh, it will do so. So until around $20,000 per Bitcoin, it should be still a good price to get in. If you can get it, if you can get in here at the lower price, it's great. But we expect a very um, big increase in the Bitcoin in the next 12 months. So uh, maybe you should start buying Bitcoin. I'm not a financial advisor. I cannot really give you financial advice, and uh, I'm only giving you this information in order for you to make your informed, responsible decision about your investments. But I just wanted to present you what are the perspectives over the price of Bitcoin in the following years so you can have a better understanding if you should buy Bitcoin right now. If you enjoyed this video, it will help me greatly if you click that like button and also subscribe so you get notified every week or every time I post a new video. This also keeps me going to record these videos and share all this information with you. So I greatly appreciate when, uh, when you do that. And if you have any questions, I read all of them and I answer to all of them. So don't be shy, post a question in the comments below and I'll happily answer it. I hope you'll share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.